I didn't know it could be like that to keep. That's a beautiful a nice fish, fish, Scotty. Well done, sir. That's awesome. That is awesome. Hey there, welcome to Jersey Jim Fish. Fishmonger Jim here. Today we got an invite to go fluke fishing with Mayor Scott, and I'm gonna I have some really really awesome Jersey Jim aqua pickles with me, but I am uh, a bit late. I'm, I'm a bit late at being early, so I gotta fly. I'll see you on the water. Thanks for the invite, Mayor Scott. All right, so I forgot to mention I brought the Ikajime kit that uh, Staten Island John got me, sent me graciously. Thank you kindly, John. I'm gonna be using it today. I would have been here 15 minutes ago if it wasn't for diurnal drivers. There it is the million dollar view. <laughs> I imagine he's going to ask me to help him move that out of the truck today. Yeah, look at that. Beauty. Georgie! Strip, Scott? What is that, halibut? No, that's salmon. I gotta cut the halibut yet. Look at that, Scotty. Oh, shit is right. And I have some, uh. You really want the white shit? I have it here. And I have some Arctic char, too. This should be really nice. Really tough. Fatty. See that? Mm. That's the char? Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. Sure. Still. Still. On the halibut too, Scotty. Oh, heck yeah. Quick release. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, he's on. He's on, Scotty. I got one. There he is. That is the hole. Man, the water is so clear. This is on the uh, the salmon, Scotty. I switched over. Oh shit! You're down. Yeah, you need that. It's a beauty there. Short, right? Yo, yeah. Oh, that's fucking sweet, Scott. Oh, I'm gonna take care of this, Scott. I gotta find where his brain is, though. This bluefish tip I just put on this rod is totally gone. So apparently, if you jam this in the in the right spot, he'll go. Um, oh, there it is! Check it out. I just brain spiked him, so he's dead now, right? I'm gonna do that next. So you gotta do the brain spike. And then uh, I need that sharp knife. Ah, here it is. Well, it's up so you brain spike it until he fribulates like that. And then you cut the gills. On both sides. Sharp knife. Hold him on like a 45 and kind of massage the um, the blood Oops. down. All right, so properly bled, and then I need the knife again. You crack open the tail. Without cutting through. And then. So check 
this out. There's um, blood vessels on the bottom of the spine, and then the uh, the, the neural column on the top. You go in right below that. I think it's below. Might be on top. Team. Yeah, good deal. Keep them coming, Scott. Uh -huh. A little more, a little more. A little more? Now you're good, you're good, you're good. They're melty ice. The nice thing is they're dead, so they're not going to crash. The right. Did you, uh, yeah, you buried them. Of course you buried them. Yeah, where's our bucket? Right here. I can only remember where I brain spiked him. I'd have had my limit. We had that one fish, Jim. Yeah. That and you could, you could help me out then. There it is. Look at that. See that? Uh-huh. I just got good at this, Scotty. So I think it's the top one that has the neural uh, tissue in it. Is that right? That's usually what it means. Yeah. Tissue that I'm removing. All right, because he's still fibrillating. That's just nerves. I didn't get it on the last one. I wonder if I should redo it. What do you think? I know you could give a shit. You just want to catch another fish, right? That's right. Seconds, cut. You're not in the way. You're good. Oh, it's really hard to find. <laughs> Jim finally caught one. Yay! On the halibut, Scotty. Yeah, I think the salmon was a uh, mistake. Yeah, well, like you said, some days this, some days that, right? Oh my God, what's the thing about Both baits. That is insane, Scott. You got both. Look. No way. Who hooked them first? Um, you can, did. I mean, he's small, Look. so yeah, I'll take credit for it. That is crazy. You got both of them. I mean, you could have told me not to set the hook like that, you know, eight fish ago, Scott. That would have been nice. Ah, uh, no, I don't think he'll keep. <laughs> This is on the um, the Arctic char, Scotty. Oh no shit! Yeah. Oh, he took my hook. Oh Christ! Yeah. The hook broke. It did. Is this salmon? No. Nah. No, nah, I wouldn't have all the fat on the back. What is that though? That might be. Dude, that's salmon, right? So he was he was with us before. Is he? I think so. I got him, Scott. Nice. On the halibut. Good for the halibut. Oh, he threw it. You dirty dog, you. yourself right down.
good day, Scotty. Yeah, Thanks man. for the invite. You're welcome. I think that's it. Oh, I got the cooler, right? Woo! Yeah, it was a good day. Apparently, in July, the first week of July, I uh -huh. get my schedule from the Miss Barnegat Light. And it's a steady five days a week. Wow. Doesn't change. Uh -huh. It's a schedule. Right oh, that's now. awesome. Huh? That's, so you're on call, basically, now. No, no, I'm there four days a week now, and then Lenny calls me in in between because he wants me on the boat. But okay. Come then, it's five days a week. Yeah. I told him that's all I wanted. Yeah. I need days to run my business, and I need days to go fishing. I have fished twice this year, I think. I think that was the third time this whole fucking year. Yep. You fish every day, Scott, when you're on the Miss Barnegat Light. Who are you yeah, kidding? I am a whole rod in my hand. But I mean, it's, I, I didn't catch many today, but I still enjoyed myself. All right, Scotty. Thanks again for the invite, Mike. Enjoy your hats. All right, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you. I'll talk to you soon, Mike. Oh, how good is it going to be to actually end a movie in a proper chair? Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you again, Mayor Scott, for the invite. Thanks kindly. Oh, this wall is pretty good as a, as a chair. <laughs> Back to a chair. Uh, thank you kindly. Uh, Staten Island. Staten, Staten Island, John, for the Ikejime kit. Interesting things happened. Interesting things. And I would cook some of this tonight. Oh, hang on. I would cook some of this tonight, but it's been a a 19 hour day for me not in uh, activity but in uh, awakeness I mean, it's funny um, I get a comment on a movie that I released today uh, my lucky day from my my brother from another continent Jamie and part of his comment was uh, your lungs sound pretty good? You haven't been gasping for air or something to that effect. And I'm driving home, and yeah, I don't know if it's just from exhaustion or from the dreaded, but yeah, kind of having some trouble breathing. But yeah, I'm gonna show you this. This is kind of, it's very, very interesting. So this is what I brought home. Scotty caught all the fish. I mean, all, it, the keepers with the exception of one because the limit's three and you can't keep four um, so I caught one and he's like yeah take the whole thing home well no I just this is all about the Ikejime right so I did three fish Ikejime and one fish non Ikejime and then I have plans for these I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these it, it, it might you might think that cooking these tonight would be the, the best and freshest way you could eat these or any fresh fish, but that's not the case. So when a fish fights, it produces lactic acid and the lactic acid builds up, and builds up in the muscles and it gives it a, uh, a different texture and, a, uh, and a, like a different flavor. Yeah, I mean leave a fish sit for a day or two after you catch it depending on the species and it's a totally different eating experience so I don't know I'm gonna let you guess this is one of them right that's one of them and that's the other one of them one of them looks really normal to me and the other one looks kind of powdery right normal kind of powdery I mean that might be attributed to unnecessary knife movements if it wasn't me man it's kind of kind of looks like it had been sprinkled with uh, with flour maybe All right check it out the comparison interesting very interesting so I'm gonna cut these into thirds like I said in like two days I'll microwave, you know, a piece of each, 
and then wait two days, microwave a piece of each, and then wait two days and smell them. And the claims are that this one is going to be good, the Ikejime one, and this one is going to be rank. And not a completely uh, conclusive test, but yeah. I think that's about it. I got to um, not exhale and uh, look at stars in front of me. Thanks, Jamie. You did this to me. <laughs> uh, that's about it. I thank you all for watching. Again, thanks, Scott. Thanks, John. Y'all have a wonderful day. Get the most out of each day, people. You never know when the last one's going to come. You're watching Fishmonger Jim, the most genuine guy on YouTube. Alright. So, I mean, upon considering what I told you all last, that I was going to, like, eat, like, cut this, this fluke into four pieces or three pieces, I forget now, and then evaluate each piece after, you know, like, evaluate the flavor. Um, I've been thinking that the most bold claim about this stuff is that it lasts a whole lot longer. And it's been, yeah, it's not been two days, it's not been three, it's not, it's, it's been five days been five days that's when I would expect this stuff to uh, to be spoiling a little bit and flavor and texture and I mean, I'll test that stuff in the future I'll test it in the future but the most exciting claim that was made on the Ikejime is that it extends the life the shelf life of the product considerably and right now five days later I, I I've been way too busy to do the the uh, the every two days like honestly it's been unreasonable this movie's gonna be kind of out of place maybe you'll understand maybe when I'm in my new studio I'll be able to make a proper vlog and give you a daily update but right now I don't have access to my computer I don't have access to my chair that I end the movies in it's been a grind it's been a grind from uh, in between two places I'll put that there we'll step on it later um, yeah so this one is the Ikejime and this one is the non ikejime just bled and they should have a slight odor at this point five days later being cared for proper non ikejime no odor at all ikejime no odor at all I mean I kind of a uh, fish cared for in that manner like completely iced down and bled out it's not surprising so we'll pop these back in the fridge hey that's five days some people think that the best time to eat a fish is a day out of the water that would be incorrect that you'd be incorrect sir because it builds up a lot of lactic acid in the muscles the with with some exceptions like mackerel and the, the the higher oil fish they're best consumed within 8 10 12 14 hut, hut, hut hours of processing but yeah, not so with the rest the best eating experience is uh, somewhat after that and we'll we're gonna we're gonna check on these in in a couple days we'll check on these in a couple days and um yeah hectic day today 
Google Maps woman was completely wrong. I don't know where she was trying to send me. I think somebody got a hold of the app and they, they hi, hi, hijacked the app and were watching me go around in circles in the wrong way and laughing hysterically because wow, I just got a haircut from Dill. Thanks for the haircut, Dill. But yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back in uh, a couple days and we'll check that out. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on the well-deserved. The well-deserved on a very, very hot day here in, in glorious South Jersey. Uh, see you again in two days. All right, so I failed with the end of this movie, big time. The last three days, it's been 97 degrees out. That's uh, 36.1 degrees centigrade, Jamie. It's been unreasonably hot, and I keep my, my refrigerator just at 42 degrees. That is the, uh, the uppermost limit, or, yeah, the uppermost limit for the... the uh, necessary temperature in which to preserve food safely and that was the winter temperature because you know like I rarely run the heat I turned the dial up and down according to uh, the ambient temperature and I failed to do so so my refrigerator got well into the HACCP danger zone like that fish I would have been I pulled it out on the seventh day and I, I would have expected there to be just a whiff of, of spoilage, of ammonia odor. And, yeah, no. <laughs> it was really, really quite bad. So, I failed. I failed. I, um, and I, I, I feel ashamed because I did waste that fish due to my own, my own, uh, my own failure. But, anyway... Yeah, it won't be the last time I address the Ikijime kit, and it won't be any time soon. My kayak has, um, well, I'm editing this movie now, where uh, I had a fine, 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 fine day of fishing at Farrington. At the end of the day, I had at least 15 gallons of water in my kayak. I, got, I took it off the roof. I knew where the cracks were. That's going to be the next movie. I did manufacture a piece. Uh, right, ciao. So, the, um, the seat plugs into two holes. The holes have a crack down on the inside, and then the one goes up onto the deck a little bit. So I'm going to jam this thing up over the, the, uh, the seat udder from underneath inside the, the hull, and then melt it together with the... Uh, with the heat gun, I was gonna do that yesterday, but I, I, I have a flesh wound, a pretty pretty good flesh wound here from the Dremel tool not behaving at all. But yeah, anyway, that's um, that's it. That's that's the Ikijime kit. Thank you, John. Thank you, Scott, for the invite. I apologize for wasting that fish. I know. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Get the most out of each day, people. You never know when the last one's going to come. Go fuck your hat. Bye.